In this edition of Jackass of the Week, we see more motoring mayhem and stupidity, with the action coming from Daytona, Bathurst and Trial Mountain. So, stay tuned. And in his first clip here, we see Devil Dance, who obviously didn't appreciate me overtaking him because he obviously didn't want to let me keep the place. And if we watch that from his point of view, there he is. And here I come. Nice little overtake there. But, uh, nah. He obviously had other ideas. What a muppet. And now we have this guy, Smig44, who is another one that doesn't like being overtaken. Because as soon as I did, he was starting to drive dirty and push me. And it's only by luck and probably a little bit of steering to the left, I managed to stay on the track. But he kept trying. Now, I actually remember this one quite well, because as I got to this corner, I started to second guess myself and wondered if it had actually been my fault. So I decided to do the decent thing. I was going to pull over and give him a place back. But he decides to ram me. Not once, not twice, but three times. You know what? I wish I hadn't even bothered. Or in this clip, with the same pleb, I get a good run coming out of a chicane. And I think, well, I could be on for an overtake here. So I drop into the slipstream and I'm making up some ground. In fact, I've got so much more speed than these that at this point I'm thinking, I'm going to overtake both of these. Well, you know what thought did, don't you? Because, uh, yeah. And from his point of view, well, is it just me? Or does anybody else think that Smig's either some 40-year-old virgin or the very angry little 10-year-old? And don't think it's just me, because not only can this idiot not keep his car on the track, he's determined to ruin everybody else's race every chance he gets. Let the heat flow through you. And in our last clip from Daytona, we have Helene... Hel we'll just call them Helen, shall we? Who was obviously determined to get past me, no matter what tactic they were going to use. Loser. And if we watch out from my race cam, I can see him coming. I move over to the left to defend my position, and he goes all the way off the track, just so he can pit manoeuvre me. Thanks for that. It does, however, provide me with a great bit of cinematic footage, albeit painful to watch. And now we go to Trial Mountain and the guy that you're about to see in a moment. That one there, who misses his first attempt to take me out. And yes, there's a little bit of contact for us there. However, he doesn't miss the second attempt. Nope, that was a good old fashioned T-boning. And if we watch that from his car, if you look at the angle he has to take, he has to go all the way off the track and line it up to make sure he takes me out. And then, well, he does what all losers like him do. And now we come to the start of this week's video. And, well, let's go into the story. You see, yes, there was a little bit of contact there, but I didn't realise at the time that there'd been maybe a bit more contact than I thought. So, I'll just finish the race off, as you do. But in the lobby after the race, you can see that DML wasn't happy and accused me of being dirty. Now, I wanted to do the decent thing, so I apologised and I thought, well, I'll take another little look at the incident to see what actually did happen. Now, just to put a little bit of clarity on this, According to the FAA, that is my corner. I'm on the inside and at this point, I'm ahead. And in the braking zone, we were actually side by side. However, for those of you that have driven Bathurst this week, you will know that this track is as slippery as ice. And yes, the contact we made was more severe than I thought it was. In fact, I almost thought for a second that maybe it hadn't been my fault. Although I didn't do it intentionally, but then, then I watched the rest of the video. 
And if you watch from my rearwards cam, there's me, obviously. There's DML in the background. But hang on. That that's not what I thought it was. Was it? And as we watch it from his chase cam, just remember that this is the guy that accused me of being dirty. Really? And this Muppet tries to call me out for being dirty? <laughs> and so, the award for Jackass of the Week goes to... DML, without doubt, an absolute jackass. This guy's a serious asshole. For more great videos like this one, follow this link. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.